learn how to get your horse to want to do things, because anybody can force a horse to do something. But how can you become the best human that your horse could ever dream of being with? And personality is going to be your major key for this, because once you understand what their needs are, you're going to keep bringing out the best of your horse. You'll never have a bad horse day again. Move their feet. In people, extroversion is more in the form of talking. In horses, it's more in the form of movement. So there's another way we're supposed to think about horses, two more categories, and that is right brain and left brain. Some of you have probably heard those terms a lot, but I'm going to give you now a way to think about them in terms of personality. So a right brain horse is one that's kind of like a little bit scattered and not very confident and can't think under pressure, it tends to be quite an emotional horse. Then there's left brain horses, and left brain is calm, confident, and usually quite dominant. So now we've got four types of horses. You've got right brain and left brain extroverts, and right and left brain introverts. There's four types there now. So what Now. 
see him swishing his tail, like, don't tell me what to do, don't push me. Introverted left brain forces dominate you with their thoughts. <laughs> and then, with lack of movement, okay? So think about this horse, he's slow on the outside, but inside, like his brain is very fast. So I want Adrian to do the same thing. She's an extrovert, so she has to really slow down her body language, and she's got to get very intense mentally. So your body language is going to do this now. And I want you to ask him to trot slower, so slow that he has to walk, and so slow that it's one foot at a time. That's it. Good. Look at his face now. He's so she's using this. reverse psychology. So it's like, you can't stop, you have to walk, but not too fast. Don't strain yourself. Pretty soon he's going to go, let me just walk. Attack, let me trot. <laughs> Now look at his face, look at him lick his lips. You can get a left brain introvert to lick his lips. Big score for you. Because the end they're usually going around swearing at you and calling you names. <laughs> they're not thinking you're very interesting. They're going, you stupid who's standing in there, you have no idea the horrible things that I'm thinking about you. Now, he's going, you're kind of interesting. But what she's doing is she's matching him. She's matching his mental energy. So here's what I'm going to do. First of all, I know that the front end is the dominant end and being left brain. If I can move that end of the horse, then I'm going to show him that I know what's going on, right? So move the front end away. The more that I spank the back end, the more he's going to go, you know, cross me, right? So front end, front end. Now I'm going to get a bit more provocative about this. I'm going to ask him to stop. That's the easy part, right? And now I'm going to ask him to go. Watch what I do. I'm going to say, go. And then I'm going to come towards him and then I'm going to hit that spot. Like he shouldn't have been in that spot, right? And then I'm going to say, don't go too fast. <laughs> might hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to say, move your nose. Now go. <laughs> Hit the spot. <laughs> Don't wear yourself out. Oh, I can't stop him. See him licking his lips. He's like, that's interesting. Give him a moment to think. Process all of that. It takes a little bit of time for the brain to fix. See that thing? That's a release of tension. It looks really tense, doesn't it? <laughs> That's a left brain introvert doing tension. Now, they're not tense like a right brain horse, but they've got a mental brace against you and against being told to do anything. So watch me, I'm really subtle. Oh, I've got one foot. And now I'm going to sneak up to that spot. So in the beginning you can use food to just get connection with that horse and you can move on from there. And so Pat was planting little cookies all over the arena. And you know, he'd ask the horse to go and like touch it thing, and of course the horse goes at a speed of smell. Right? And Pat never rushed in, he just finally got him, he got him to the spot, and the horse looks at it and is like, this is a cookie. It took about two of those, and then he started going, all right, where is it? Where's the cookie? He got really interested. And the next thing you know, Pat's doing all this fantastic stuff on the horse. It was just a brilliant demonstration. Pretend you're going to 
so far him for two laps. But then, just before the second lap finishes, change again. Do something different. So when you start to make things really provocative and progressive, then you get that possible connection with you. Go ahead. So look at me, he's like, oh, I'm not a circle.